Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant and it's a piece of software that you can install on your computer to help you troubleshoot various Microsoft problems. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a uh, shared version of Office 365 that I installed on this computer and I could not get it to activate it no matter how many times I repaired it or uninstalled it or reinstalled it or um, you know, removed the user account from using it and adding it and sharing it again and so on. And so I figured I'd give this a uh, little tool a try here and actually fixed it. So I figured maybe it's something you guys could use uh, when you're having problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how it works. Um, you just download and install it like any other tool. I'll put a link in the description. And then once you have it installed, you just got a little icon for it. And you can just double click it to run it. Okay, and then it gives you some... Uh, menu choices here depending on what you're trying to fix. So like for example for Windows there's not much you just click on it and next and you've installed Windows but can't activate it if you're having problems with Active Directory replication you could do that. So not a lot for that. For Office this is the one I used. Um, I used the this one here and it actually went through. The, I'm not going to go through it again because I don't want to risk messing it up but it actually went through and it fixed it. So you have several choices here for what you could do with uh, Microsoft Office if you're having these particular problems. You know, Teams, OneDrive, let's say your files aren't syncing, you could have this kind of check it out for you. Uh, Outlook for the web, a few different selections there, and then you have some advanced stuff here. regular Outlook, we're using Outlook Client, Skype, and so on. So let's say, I don't use Skype, so let's say we're going to run through this one to see what it does here. Click on Next. So it just kind of goes through where it asks you some questions. Is this the affected machine? Yes. And then it'll kind of run its little diagnostics here. And then you could kind of pick an account here. So I guess for this one it didn't fix it, but that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of things you could do. It's kind of like the regular Windows troubleshooter if you ever use that, which I was never really a fan of because it kind of didn't work more than it worked. But like I said, this thing did the trick for me for my office thing. So I uh, figured I'd give it a shot next time I need to try something. So once again, just... Uh, Let's download it, install it, and run it and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.